So, I have finished my battery build, uh, other than the two bolts right there. I thought I'd give an update as to some stats and basically how it was built. So, uh, what batteries did I use? I used the 16 amp hour SPI M0H uh, HP batteries, uh, flat cell batteries. Um, with the casing, it makes a rigid structure, albeit a little bit heavier but the discharge ratings are impressive. A single 16 amp hour has a uh, current rating of 400 lower limit, 800 upper limit. Uh, I have the batteries in a 24S 2P configuration, so the discharge rates are, are not gonna be a problem. The two rows are bolted together with some very simple custom brackets out of some excess bus bars, so it's solid. There's not even, no, there's no play in this battery pack at all. The battery management system, the BMS, uh, it's upside down there, but it is a daily 500 amp uh, 24S lithium ion battery management system. It is a common port, but the benefit of this BMS is that each port is doubled. So I have one side dedicated to the battery terminals and the other side of course will be the charge and load. Uh, one cool little thing I'd like to point out are those little cross wires you see there. Uh, those are incredibly high gauge capable of more than enough amperage than I need but I needed to basically connect a split battery pack and that's how you do it. It's very tough, very solid, and very capable of any amp hour rating. Uh, to mitigate uh, chances of short circuiting, I obviously have that tape on top, nothing fancy, but it works. Um, so now I won't be electrocuting myself anymore. It does hurt. Uh, the end ones, like I mentioned earlier, still need the bolts. Uh, they're out in the garage, and it's late and freezing outside, so that'll probably happen tomorrow. Okay, so uh, the build is pretty straightforward. The main purpose of this was to provide a battery system that can handle incredibly high amp draws, which it can, and charge at high amp ratings, which it can. Um, the batteries can charge at something like 200 or 250 amps, and this uh, BMS can handle charge ratings of up to 250 amps. So anything and everything I need, no matter what charging system I use, will be more than, more than okay. So yeah, this is the basic structure of the battery. Just thought I'd post something real quick. Uh, Thank you for watching, and as always, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, feel free to give me a shout out.